Barkley, he's the head of the Barkley House. Agnes Barkley is his devoted and loving spouse. They've got kids, Terry Roger and Chester too. And all of them are Barkley's through and through. Cause they're the Barkley's and they're okay. And Arnie Barkley with a very open mind is always first to let you know his own opinionated ways. But even though he may grumble and get up tight, just remember Arnie Barkley's bark is worse than his bite. Neighbor block party. Why the A in neighbor? And what happened to the E, I, G, and H? Oh, we're short of paint. We're short of everything, especially money, Terry. Yeah, unless we start collecting some folding money, the only letters we'll need will be I, O, and U. Looks like Chester's raking in some cash. Let's see. That makes a grand total of $2.12. You've got to be kidding. Boy, that won't pay for the pretzels. That won't even pay for the holes in the pretzels. <laughs> this block party's gonna cost us at least 500 bucks. If we could talk pop into advances on our allowances, it'd take us up to the year... 2972, around the middle of September. <laughs> That'd be the day. Oh, Dad, how about a small advance on our allowance for a thousand years? Forget it! Oh, boy. Where are we gonna get five hundred dollars? End of the line. Everybody off. When do we get to 55th Street? Tomorrow at 10 o'clock. My banjo lesson today was F sharp. Hold it, Arnie. I got 15 more buses to move back and park in your slot. Save your strength, Sam. I can drive this sardine can through a hanghouse without breaking an egg. <laughs> I drive a bus all day, but I gotta walk to my own car. In this town, rapid transit is by foot. Huh? Mommy! 500 bucks! I'm rich! I'm rich! Wait till I tell Agnes you can buy meat without looking at the prices. Buckaroos, almost half a thousand dollars. <laughs> this is what makes America great. Me, a bus driver, kissing Andrew Jackson. <laughs> Agnes, Agnes. Oh, wifey dear, where's my darling spouse? Are you home, Arnie? I'm home. Honey bun, where you been? It's just shopping for dinner, dear. Forget then. I've got a surprise for you. Come on. <laughs> If you're taking me out to eat, Arnie, you're going the wrong way. Agnes, there's a mink in your future. But, Arnie, I'm happy married to you. Be calm. Don't get excited like most women do. But I found $500 in bring gags. You get crack beans. You get crack racks. You mean beans. No. Arnie, are you all right, dear? Yeah, yeah. Here, feast your eyes on this. Oh, my. They're so pretty. Counterfeits are the prettiest. And they take more care when they make them. They're not counterfeits. Look, that's the official seal of the U.S. of A. A counterfeiter couldn't print that on a bill. It'd be against the law. Oh, Arnie, I think you should give this money back. I'll tell you what. I'll check the newspaper, and if there's a law stand for 500 bucks, I'll turn it in and cancel my subscription to the paper. Oh, Arnie. 
But until then, it stays under the mattress for safekeeping. And don't breathe a word of this to anybody. Not even the kids. The news of my wealth gets out. You'll see more outstretched palms around here than in Miami. <laughs> Positively silly if we have to cancel the block party. Yeah, everyone wants to come, but no one wants to donate. I just got a great idea. What? what? Let's forget the block party and spend the money on donuts. Oh, you're a big help. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. What's with you kids? Looks like you just lost your best friend. Worse than that. Our block party's run into a snag. King size. We need $500. Oh, talk about a coincidence. Your father's just... Dad, uh, your father just said I'd be glad to donate. And here's a quarter. Just get about 2,000 more and you've got your $500. Uh, thanks, Dad. Hmm. Maybe I can invent something to earn $500. There, it's finished. Behold, the world's first buried treasure, Sniffer Outer. Chester, only pirates bury treasures. And there doesn't happen to be any in the neighborhood. The mines at the beach is buried in the sand. It falls out of people's pockets. And they're so busy yelling at their kids, they don't notice it. Let's see how that nightmare works. Okay, first we activate it. And if there's any money around, the radar people will come up. See? It's picked up the scent of money. It's, it's working. A penny. It picked up a scent of money, all right. One cent. At this rate, we'll have to sift every grain of beach sand from Maine to Miami. Hey, I've got an idea. Tomorrow, we'll leave our collection box in front of the bank. And I'll make a poster and appeal for funds. Okay, kids, break it up. Time to hit the sack. And don't forget to brush your teeth. Aw, oh, Dad, who's going to see him when you're asleep? The tooth fairy. Now brush him. window. Agnes, you opened the window. Of only the lower half, dear. I thought I'd let a little air in. Also a little second story, man. We got a fortune under that mattress. Nobody's gonna hijack my bed. Crazy dream that I'm riding a camel. Well, dear, be careful you don't fall off. Uh, just hang on to the hum. <laughs> well, we better check the collection box. Yeah, it's been in front of the bank a whole three hours. There it is, right where we left it. At least we broke even. Nobody took the box. <laughs> hey, somebody must have donated something. I feel paper. Lots of paper. Nuts. They've been using it as a litter box. No, it's the real stuff. Tens and twenties. And more tens and twenties. Crazy. There must be $500 in there. Come on. Let's go buy all this stuff for the block party before the cost of living goes up. <laughs> Last stop, third in Maine. Hmm, lunchtime. <laughs> the next stop for me is Gladys's Cafe. Here's your lunch, Mr. Barkley. The usual sardine on rye. Yeah, every day sardine on rye. The inside of my stomach is getting to feel like a fish hatchery. Uh, hi, Arnie. Mind if I join you for lunch? 
If you join me, Beagle, you'll have to order your own lunch. What'll it be? Uh, the businessman's lunch, Gladys. Yeah, listen to that guy. Big man. Businessman's lunch. Well, I'll show him. Oh, uh, Gladys? Take these uh, appetizers away and bring me the uh, bus driver's lunch. Devil steak, uh, double onion, broccoli with double hollandaise, and uh, salsa. Room temperature. Oh, some lunch. What happened? Did you strike oil, Arnie? No, but you might say I had a <laughs> sidewalk come in. Oh, that, was, that was a good lunch. Uh, I'll pick up the tab, Beagle. Let's see, uh, the 20 ought to do it. Keep the change, my dear. The jingling of coins in my pocket disturbs my eardrums. I guess you did hit it, Rich Arnie. Well, I'll see you later. <laughs> I guess I showed him. Hey, who are you? Don't be frightened, Arnie. I'm your conscience. If you're talking about that 500, I found it fair and square. Someone lost that $500, Arnie. Someone who might desperately need it. Perhaps a poor widow. Oh, where is that $500 I saved for by taking in laundry? With a box of detergent in your hand, you could do a TV commercial. <laughs> oh, you can't be that heartless. That $500 might have been lost by an old sailor. Bash my barnacles. If Arnie don't give me back that 500 fish I lost, I can't buy that chicken farm. That winner wasn't bad, but you'd do a rotten sailor. Hi, gang. The head of the family is here. Hi, Dad. Dad? Hey, who turned my living room into a warehouse? It'll be all cleared out by tomorrow. We practically bought out the town for the Know Thy Neighbor block party. We rented loudspeakers, bought food, favors, fireworks. That must have cost a pretty penny. What'd you use for money? The good people of our town donated 500 bucks. And were we ever surprised to find it in our collection box? Well, looks like our family had two lucky days. Two lucky days? Uh-huh. Yesterday, I'm walking down the street, and why, Rika? I find 500 bucks lying on a sidewalk. But, wow, who lost it? How do I know? Widow, an old sailor? Did you give it back? Columbus found America. Did he give it back? But, Daddy, you should turn that money in. You know that honesty is the best policy. Not only did I find the money honestly, I found it democratically. Democratically? Sure. Whoever lost it had the same equal chance to find it as I did. Well, dear, as long as you found it democratically, you should be willing to give it back democratically. Give it back democratically. And just what is that supposed to mean, Agnes? We'll put it to a family vote, dear. Great idea, Mom. All those in favor of Dad doing what we all know he ought to do, raise your hand. Now, just a minute. Huh? Dad, you made the right decision. Well, I gotta admit, it's a load off my mind. Not to mention my pocketbook. <laughs> I'll call the local neighborhood paper and run an ad. Found money, Arnie Barkley. It isn't everyone that gets his name in the paper. I'll go get the money so we can spend our last few hours together. Well, Arnie, old boy, it's easy come, easy go. Look at it this way. At least I won't have a lumpy mattress. Hmm. Money must have rolled down. What's the matter, Arnie? The, 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 the money, it's, it's gone. Somebody picked my mattress. Wait a minute, Dad. Let's figure this thing out scientifically. Exactly. Where did you hide the money? I'll show you. Right here, like this. What was that? That's my buried treasure sniffer outer. Oh, no. Come back here in the name of the law. <laughs> that thieving monster, it swiped my $500. But it was thoughtful, Arnie. It gave it to the children for their block party. Yeah, that's a point in its favor. The kids have spent all the money. Come on, we gotta stop that air. I'm speaking for Arnie Barkley. We want you to stop his ad. 
You can't. He says it's too late. The papers will be on the street in half an hour. Oh, no. Now what do we do? We gotta buy up every paper in town. I'll buy out the newsstands on the north side of town. Terry, you take the south. I'll take the east. Arnie, you go west. And Chester, you take what's left. What's left after north, south, east, and west? What's the total, Chester? Did we buy out the whole edition, all 500? According to my computations, every paper except one. Don't be a worrywart, Dad. It's only one paper out of 500. Yeah, what are the odds against that one person being the one who lost the money? Arnie, a telephone for you. Who is it? I don't know. He just says he's a reader of the evening sunset. Oh, it must be the man who lost the money. What'll I do? Hello? You're the loser? Yeah, this is the findee. Can you identify the money? That's right. Five hundred dollars. He identified the money. To whom am I speaking? Your Honor. You're a Your Honor? Municipal Court Judge Terrier. You're an honest man, Barkley. Anyone else would have kept the money and spent it. That would have been dishonest. And in my court, I throw the book at a dishonest man. <laughs> But you don't have to worry about that now, do you, Barkley? <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, Your Grace. I'll bring you your $500 tomorrow. You see how honesty works, Pop? Yeah, and honesty will get me 20 years. Where am I going to get $500 before tomorrow? And here come our next contestants in the big 14th annual Oba 40 water ski contest. knows what he got himself into. Well, if he wins the contest, he can at least pay back Judge Terrier. That would be great, except for one thing. What's that, dear? Well, he doesn't know how to water ski. <laughs> Wowie, look at that. My goodness, I've never seen a water skiing contest before. What do you call this thing? It's a wetsuit, Dad. A wetsuit? I'll get wet enough when I get in that water. <laughs> Come on, Dad. It's almost your turn. Do me a favor, will you? Get me a pair of slow skis. <laughs> All set, Dad? Yeah, just tell me when it's over. Our next contestant, Arnold Barkley. We're off. Daddy, come up on top of the water. I can't. Just imagine there's sharks in the water. Sharks? Be tired already. He's sitting down. Up on your feet, Dad. Wiggle your feet. No, not that way. I must have put the skis on the wrong end. Look at that boy, And face oh, Dad, look out for that boy. Oh, no. saw such fancy skiing. Not one move that's in the books. <laughs> and the winner of the $500 prize for originality in water skiing, Arnie Barkley. Hooray! Here, take this to that municipal court judge. Sure, Dad. You see, it doesn't hurt to be honest. Oh, yeah. You're so right. <laughs> This way for hot dogs, hamburgers, pickles, and beans. And that way for bicarbonate of soda. Oh, hi, Judge Terrier. It was just well that you could come to our block party. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world, Terry. Great idea. Listen to all that racket. Can you imagine all those grown people out there making fools of themselves? And we're going to join them. Come on, Arnie. But why do I have to go? It's a big surprise. Now, come on. Oh, oh, hey, everybody. Here comes the guest of honor. Three cheers for Arnie Barkley. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, who? <laughs> you, Arnie. Me? I don't get it. You will, Dad. Come up on the platform. Yes, Arnie Barkley. This modest man has taught us all a lesson in honesty. 
he was under no, no obligation to return this $500 to me. There was no way I could identify it. He could have kept the money. I could have kept it? However, I insist that Arnie Barkley accept from me a liberal reward. Well, at least it's not a total loss. No, you won't take that reward, Dad. Honesty is its own reward. Well... Yay! Arnie Barkley! You know, you're right. A million bucks couldn't make me feel as good as I do right now. Yay! How did you get loose? Don't you know honesty is the best policy? Here, Judge. For he's an honest good fellow. For he's an honest good fellow. For I'm an honest good fellow. Which so nobody can 